Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw Seuss Ramirez from Gravity Falls. So we start at the top of his face with his eyes. So starting with the right eye, we're going to draw a circle, starting from the top, down to the bottom, and then back up to the top. Let's draw in the nose, because the nose will overlap the left eye. So starting on the left side of the right eye, curve down with a hook, and we're going to come up with a slight angle to the edge of the nose. From here, we're going to just overlap the eye on the right over on top of the left. So starting up here, draw another circle, curving around, and just tucked in behind that nose. Let's go ahead and draw the pupils. So just le uh, right of center on the left eye, we can draw a small circle, and then in the center of the right eye, we'll draw a circle. Let's go ahead and draw the mouth. So we're going to draw a curve just underneath the nose, starting on the left side. We'll curve down, and then curve up. From here we're going to draw on some cheeks, so we're going to step up a little bit on the right side and draw a little curve for the cheek. We're going to go back to the left side here, we draw the bottom of the mouth. So coming down and then up, and we're going to tuck this in underneath that cheek there. Let's go ahead and draw front teeth, so the top teeth, we're going to draw a little box like that. And we're going to split it down the middle with a line. And then at the bottom we're going to draw the bottom teeth, so coming up, across, and then down. And then the tongue, we're going to start at the top of the tooth and just draw a little curve like that. Let's go ahead and draw the cheek on the other side. So up here, I'm just going to draw a little bracket, a little curve like that. We're going to draw on the chin. So has got this little double chin. So down here, I'm just going to draw a little curve like that. Let's go ahead and draw on some whiskers, some stubble. So on the side here, we're just going to draw a little line. Just on the right side of the upper mouth, we're going to draw two little short lines like that. On the left here, we're going to draw two little angled lines. On the right, we're going to draw three, just like that. And then on the chin, we're just going to overlap three little lines on top of the chin there. From here, we're going to draw in the pear-shaped head. So he's got this hat. It starts off really narrow at the top, and then kind of comes out to a really wide uh, bottom chin. So we're going to start with the back side here, right on the right side of the right eye, right up here. We're going to draw a curve coming down the back of the head. We're going to do an overlap and draw a curve like this for the ear. We're going to go down below this ear and just curve out like this. Okay, so that's the back of the head. Let's go to the front, right about here, just above this left eye. We're going to curve around the chin. So we'll just put a point right here because the hat's going to overlap on top of the head. So starting here, we're going to curve out, then down, and we're just going to wrap this around, up, back up on the back of the head there. So this is actually like the shirt line that comes up like this. From here, let's go ahead and draw in the hat. So from here, I'm going to draw on the top brim of the hat. So I'm going to curve this probably upwards. From the back here, we'll curve up to the top. Kind of like this. Let's close that gap off there. From here, I'm going to curve around and just hit the front head edge of that head right there. We're going to draw the front brim. So starting up at the top here, we're going to curve down. And we're going to pull this back up to the top line there. From here, I'm going to take this line and just continue it up behind the hat brim there. Let's go ahead and draw on some eyebrows. So above this left eye, I'm going to draw a curve going up. And on the right, I will draw a curve going up. And then we're just going to finish off the hat with a little dome. So starting here, we're going to curve up, and then down and touch that point there on the right side. So we'll go up, and then we'll come down on the right side like that. Okay, so we've got the head. Let's get into the body. So the body is like a big, sort of wide body. The upper torso is quite long. The lower torso, the legs, are quite short. So I'm going to bring the body down to about here. So starting on the front part of the body, we start right underneath the chin. We draw a curve going out, and then start to come straight down here. On the back side, I'm going to draw in the arm, because the arm overlaps the body. So from this point, I'm just going to continue down, out, and then just start to come in right about here. Now this is where I'm going to start to draw in the hand. So we're going to draw in the bump for the palm, from this point, we're going to draw one curve for one finger. We're going to draw another finger, so another curve. Let's draw another one here. And then one last one. And then we're going to take this line, and we're going to curve all the way up towards the armpit. So up here, I'm going to pull this line towards myself. Just because it's a little bit easier, draw a smooth line like as I'm pulling it towards myself. Draw on the sleeve of the shirt, so right up here, we can draw a little curve like this. Now, let's draw on the back. So I'm going to imagine this curve coming down behind the arm, 
and right about here, right behind this arm, and just pull a line down like this. We're going to connect those two points with a curve. It's going to come down and come back up on the back there. Let's go ahead and draw in the arm. So I'm going to have him in that sort of thumbs up pose in the front here. So let's draw in the back arm. So just behind the body, right about here, I'm going to come out at an angle and then just swoop up. From here, let's draw in the thumb. So this part here, we're going to do an overlap, we're going to curve towards the head, up and then down. From here, I'm going to start inside, just on the back here, with the one finger curve around, and then just loop all the way back in behind the body like this. Now we're just going to overlap a bunch of fingers. Starting back here, I'm going to curve and wrap it around. Do it again, so curving, wrapping it back around. And then for the pinky, I'm just going to curve, and I'm not going to close it off, I'm just going to curl it around like this. And for the palm right here, we're just going to draw a little curve like that. Let's draw on the sleeve of the shirt. So right here I'm just going to draw a straight line angled in. We'll go ahead and draw in the legs. So here the legs are quite narrow so it comes in from either side. So on the left side here I'm going to go straight down and curve in towards the middle of the body here. From here I'm going to do an overlap and come down past that line, curve to the back of the leg and then go straight up and tuck that in underneath the shirt. While we're at it, we're going to go ahead and draw in that pocket. So up here, I'm just going to draw a line coming down, going straight back, and then up, and then we'll draw that pocket flap. So from end to end, I'm just going to draw a curve like this. Let's go ahead and draw in the feet. So again, we're going to step in the back, and curve down towards the heel. We're going to draw a curve towards the front of the toe. So right here, I'm going to curve up towards the front of the toe, and then curve back. Do an overlap, draw a wrinkle to the top of the foot. Now from this point, I'm going to curve up, just do a little curve around like this. From here, I'm going to curve to the back of the foot. And just above this uh, shoe tongue, I'm just going to draw a straight line coming down. Let's go ahead and draw the exact same foot on the front here. So starting with the back curve. Now this back curve, I'm going to probably tuck it in behind that toe here. Just like this. So it looks like it's actually behind. We're going to draw that curve, go to the front of the foot, and we're going to curve this back. Do an overlap, and draw a little overlapping curve for a wrinkle. We'll draw the shoe tongue coming around like this, and then curving to the back of the foot. And we'll take that same line just above the tongue and draw that in. Let's draw on some sock lines. So right up here, draw a curve for the sock and on the right side as well. And then the final part, we're going to draw that big question mark logo in the middle of the shirt. So starting at the front, we're going to draw the, the hook first. Okay, so from the front, curve around, and then come back. From here, we're going to come straight down. We're going to curve down. Let's go back to the front here. So there's a little, it looks like a drippy paint sort of effect. So we're just going to go up, curve, and draw another one. And then this one, we're just going to go a little bit longer and go up. From here, we're going to curl around. Now we're going to come around this way. And we're just following this line towards the bottom of the question mark. We're going to draw those little drips again. So one, two. We'll draw this third one a little bit longer. Three. Now for the dot here, we start in the middle. We're going to swirl around almost like an oval. And we're going to come down and up. Go one more curve up like this, and that is pretty much it. There we have it. There's Sus Ramirez from Gravity Falls. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please give us a like, and if you want more characters from the show, please check our TV character playlist. I have a ton of characters in there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.